I just woke up getting on my computer and I was thinking about my deposit for today so I thought why not just make a little short video about it the worst case scenario this is with work and collecting checks would be hundred and forty nine dollars now if all checks come in the mail and everybody pays today the best case would be five hundred and twenty now in order for this mortgage check to clear I need 293 and that's if no bank fees hit so it'll be interesting to see what I actually come up with for at the end of the day let's see how it goes freshly cut yard by me Gonna start off with a little collecting. Okay, we have 49 and a 120 check. So we're starting with 169. Hey, they didn't have 50 bucks. I'll accept 49 bucks. It's cash. Off to the yard. I actually need 297. Some kind of fees hit this morning. So let's go. Not good. Probably going to have to move this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe cut around it and come back after they pick it up and weed eat under it. This is too high and too thick to bag all at once. So I'm going to cheat, chop it down, then bag it. They'll never know. Difficult man's going to get his hearing aid. Not interested. Ugh. How often do you cut Jimmy's grass? Every two weeks. Every one? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Come up here and look at my front I got it. 40 bucks every two weeks. I don't know how much of that got recorded, but I'm going to take on his yard for 40 bucks. The neighbor did warn me about him and didn't advise that I should work with him, but uh, you know, he came at me, said, Let me get my hearing aid, I'll be right back. And he looked desperate, so you know how I am. I'll cave in. I'll be nice up to a point, but if he's pushing me, you know, for the unreasonable, I'll I'll tell him what's up. 
and he was all bent out of shape complaining about the roofers that they recommended to him and you know over the years they know how he is so I wanted to uh, be kind of tough with him up front he said I think now would be great I said oh no sir I'm gonna schedule people who are waiting on me I said I'll come back later after this rain and he looked a little shocked but um, I've been walked on enough to know how to handle people and if he doesn't want to you know do things my way it's probably not gonna work out so I'll go back after this rain and do it I don't think he wants me to call him because he can't really hear too good so it's an account we'll see how it goes But you know, he could be ready to change his ways. He could have gone through enough lawn services to know that he better keep his mouth shut if he wants to keep somebody. And there are people like that. They want to be right all of the time. I'm at 214. I think my garden home where I usually pick up a $100 check. I think she's out of town, so that's, I don't think that's gonna work out for me. It'll be close. Garden home lady just texted me. She's out of town. That's $100 I won't see today. I think you have to take a different approach with every potential customer. You have to size them up and figure out what's going to work. You know, there are some ladies that haven't been treated right. And you want to be really nice to them. And do some little extras if they appreciate it. And then there are these men that enjoy getting over on you. And they have a history of doing it. Not that they're short on money, I really think they enjoy on um, just uh, working you over, getting what they can out of it. So knowing the history of this guy from my neighbor and our previous conversations, I thought I should be tough with him. It reminds me of another potential customer. I gave him a price, and then right away, he just stared at me. He said, well, plant workers don't even get close to that. And I, without hesitating, I said, I do not work by the hour, sir. And he said, okay. <laughs> Maybe if I was hesitant, he wouldn't have said okay. Well, this old guy today, you could tell he wanted to talk, and it's sad, but I just don't have the time. I think they, they, they don't have a concept of how efficient you have to be in a workday to make a deposit. So he was talking about getting a tree cut down, and I had an estimate for my tree. And so I told him, your tree, you'll probably get estimates of around $1,800. Because his tree was about 85% as big as mine. And I got an estimate of $3,000. So I told him to be prepared. He said, what? I'd never pay that. So I don't know if he's going to have any luck getting that tree taken down for... I don't know what he wants to pay. 1200 Here are my freebies. Amazing water. Six pack of Austin peanut butter crackers. And a Nutri-Green. Time for my lunch break. 
Well, this video is going to be all over the place. But I just heard that those eight people executed in, what, four different locations? I just heard about it. They said it might be a Mexican drug cartel hit. Well, that makes sense to me because that's how they roll. They don't mess around. If you're cutting in on their marijuana business, watch out. I think it was to send a message to. It's just a guess. That was a really efficient hit, though. What do you think? Mexican cartel? I've seen some really brutal Mexican cartel videos. Uh, I better not talk about it. I'm fixing to eat. What would you do if a customer, lady, came to the door to pay you? She's in a nightgown very revealing nightgown. She drops the money in front of her and gives me a full show of the jugs. What would you do? Well, I'll tell you what I did. No, I, it's not that. I looked away. You know, my initial thought was respect. But then when she came back up, <laughs> it looks like she saw a ghost. Like she wanted to tell me something, but she couldn't say it. And I had the stupidest grin on my face, like a possum chewing on briars. So, <laughs> it, yeah, I admit it was something that burned into my memory. And stuff like that has happened a handful of times. I have to say, though, I never acted on it. I don't want to lie. Good visuals, though. Here's a question for men. Would you let a serviceman, plumber, air conditioner... Repairman, inside repairman. Would you let him schedule an appointment when only your wife was home? That would that would take a lot of confidence and trust. I don't know if I could do it. Not that I wouldn't trust my wife. Well, in case you're just joining me, I'm not married, but... <clears throat> I wouldn't trust just a lone male in the house with my wife. A yard man's a little different because you're outside. But still, I can tell you my experience with married women, uh, you know, it's, it's a mess. The husband comes home, uh, he won't look at you, he won't greet you. She'll say, hey, look, this is Damien in the yard, man. He won't look at you, walk straight inside. You can hear him say stuff like, um, this is just a compilation of situations. I told you not to talk to him, leave a check outside. Stuff like that. Or they'll buy a lawnmower and try to do it themselves. It doesn't work out. They lose me in the process. I mean, I don't blame them for getting bent out of shape. Well, here's another question for you. If your wife is a stay-at-home wife, would you have certain rules for dealing with the yard man since she's going to be home alone. Now that wouldn't be outrageous because you're talking about a lone male being alone with your wife. 
tricky situation. I'd like to know how married men handle that. Do you have total trust or the they make arrangements to be home or somebody else to be there with their wife when somebody comes over like that. Because I've avoided a lot of trouble with husbands thinking that I'm up to something and I'm not. Yes, and the wives try to lure me in. When the husbands aren't there, they're waving, they're staring at me, trying to get my attention. <clears throat> come in get some tea when the husband's there and you're leaving the wife will not look at me yep that's how it is let me go do some more collections okay Running a little short, mostly because the garden home didn't have a $100 check for me. Couldn't do that yard either because there's a big truck in that small driveway and we have an agreement. If there's any cars there, I'm going to skip it. So We have 261 We need 297 So I'm 36 short of the mortgage. But I just mailed it, so I have three days to make the $36. But I am expecting some checks in the mail. A 90, a 100, and a 50. So if any of those come in, I'll move on to my next bill. So let's go wait for the mail, and I'll wrap this video up. How do you like my scratch pad? Okay, the mail has arrived. Mostly junk. I have a drop box here. Mail slot. Dish, Cox, Swin Dixie. Here we go. Payment and close. This is 50. Foul pack. Grilled hot dogs. No, thank you. <laughs> Burger. It kind of bothers me that my check was buried in all this junk now. Piccadilly. All you can eat, eight dollars. Oh my gosh. Whenever I see this Win Dixie, it always reminds me of the huge mistake I made by leaving my Echo Trimmer unchained in the back of my truck. They must have been watching me because I, I just went in and out and it vanished. Okay, thanks to the mail lady, I was able to reach my deposit goal to cover that mortgage check. Don't have as much cash because I had to get dog treats. Can't show up to one of my jobs without the treats or that dog will kick my ass. So 36 right there. 120 check. That's for three jobs. 40 check. 65 check and the 50 that came in the mail all right that's an average day of collecting my pay and paying my bills
to top off the day, I got called sweetheart at the drive-thru by a young teenager. How does she know that I'm a sweetheart just by giving my order? It's all good. Feels like summer. <laughs>